Hey my DIY nomads, how are you guys doing? Right, so today I'm gonna run through how to build your own control panel. I'm gonna make this a proper idiot proof guide and I'm gonna run through everything. And if you have any further questions, please comment below, please leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. It really does help me out. So as you saw in the previous video, this is my control panel. I got it from Rain Automotive. I just really do like their system and I bought it pre-wired because it saved me a bunch of time and having to buy in loads of extra wires. But that obviously isn't the answer for everyone and some people would like to probably have a go at making their own one. Obviously it is a bit daunting when you look at the back of it, but it really is very simple and 12 volt electrics are actually really fun to play with if you have got the time. So let's take you indoors and I will show you how to wire one of these up yourself. Right my DIY nomads, today is my idiot's guide on how to wire up your own control panel if you're looking to do so. So what I've got here is my LCD monitor that shows the voltage of my leisure battery, the five buttons similar to the control panel I already have in the van, and then the two cigarette lighter ports, one that's being used for USB ports and one that's just as a cigarette lighter that you can plug in anything you want to. Now, firstly, what you're gonna to want to do is get all these components. I'd recommend probably eBay is your best bet. You could probably pick these up for pretty cheap. And then you, once you've got them, you want to mount them in whichever way you want, into a control panel or a board or anything like that. So firstly, you've got obviously the LCD monitor. We've got a positive cable, a white cable. I've colored it green here because obviously white won't show up on the background and then the black for negative. We've got the buttons. They all have three prongs on the bottom. And then we've got the cigarette lighter, which has got a positive and a negative. Sorry guys, I just realized I haven't actually put positive and negative on the cigarette lighter. So I'll just quickly do that now. Right, there we go. So everything's color coded up. So what you're gonna first, firstly, what you're gonna wanna do is wire it up like this. So we've got the positive and the signal off the LCD screen going to the center of the first button. And then off of that comes another power cable that goes to the first positive on the cigarette lighter. And then that loops around and goes to the other positive of the other cigarette lighter. So really that's all sort of like, this is a very thin positive cable and then it clips onto there and you're gonna have to wire it to a 21 AWG cable. I'll explain AWG at the end. Um, but you're going to want to also wire a 21 AWG cable that goes to the positive of both cigarette lighters. The negative then goes to the negative or the, the negative port on the button that you choose to be the negative. And then that's that first part wired. Then all the negatives are all wired together across all the ports and they all come together. So it's one big loop. All the negatives are joined together. Next, you're going to want to have your ground, your ground block or your ground point and then obviously the three power cables that are similar to the Rain Automotive one and then the ground. Next, you want to then going to wire up like this. So the negative or the ground goes to the ground block. The first power cable goes to this port on one of the buttons. The second power cable goes to this port on the other button. And the, f the last one goes to this port on this button. So from this point, what's happening is the power's coming into this one and powering both the LCD monitors and the cigarette lighters when you turn this switch on, this button on. These two are also powered up, but nothing's connected to them on the center point, so nothing is getting powered at this current time. Off of the negative on this side of the cigarette lighter, you've got a much thicker cable. This is gonna be 16 AWG, and I will explain this all at the end, and that goes to the ground. So you see ground here, ground from the cigarette lighter. So really all the negative power that's going through all these loops is now properly ground out and all that sort of stuff, so you're all safe. Next, you're gonna to want to add these two loops. This powers all five buttons up so everything has power once it's switched on. At this point, you are ready to go. These center prongs on these four buttons are basically free and open to attach whatever 12 volt systems you want to it. On my current control panel from Rain Automotive, I've got this first one powering my tap switch and my water pump, so that gives me my like running water. I've got this one running my lights for my LED lighting, and then these two are free to do which whatever I want with. But whatever 12 volt application you've got, you've got to attach it to the center point here. All the positives from your 12 volt applications go to the buttons, and all the negatives run to the ground block, or the ground. Lastly, I'll quickly run through the gauge or what thickness of wire you require. The easiest way to explain this is the four cables, as I explained before, that power the whole control panel and also the ground here that come in from the battery, they are all 19 AWG. 
the only 16 AWG cable you're going to need is to come off the negative, directly off the negative port of the cigarette lighter here and go directly to the ground. Then the rest of all of these cables, apart from the LCD monitor that already is pre-wired, all of these extra little cables, they're 21 AWG. Every wire has a current or voltage limit and each of these obviously corresponds to how much these wires can take safely without burning out or causing issues. Well my DIY nomads, that is my idiot proof guide on how to wire up your own control panel if you're looking to do so. Now if you've got any further questions, as I mentioned before, please comment below, please leave a like and please 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 subscribe, it really does help me out. But I will catch you guys next time.